Hi guys, how are you? Who do we have in the chat today? Hi, Cajun Sunshine, hello again, welcome back. Darren, Amy, Zura, Diane, Rob, Denise, hello. Hi Gillian, hi Penny, hi Michael. Hello, how are you all? Have you had a good week? We are outlining today. Um, Avelia, hello. Hi Kathleen, wicked. You're, you're on time. <laughs> hi Christina. T, hi Chris. I love a good pancake. Okay, so I'm going to draw out my grid. I'm using cartridge paper. I always use a cartridge paper to draw out everything first. So I'm going to make this the same size as my actual drawing paper. I'm going to go from the edges because it's just easier. You had it opened in two separate windows. <laughs> They're both talking. <laughs> that must have been horrendous. <laughs> Hi Sarah, how are you? Bitsy's probably eating, yeah. I know she was with horses today, so I don't know whether she's still with horses. Marking out one inch increments. Thank you very much, Penny. Thank you. It's gone a little bit funny this side. It's gone like green. Like underneath here, it's gone really weird. But the rest of it's okay. And thank you. I'm sure this is 10 by 10. I just need to measure this again. Yes. I thought James was asleep or was like drifting off to sleep, but it appears that he is now awake. a good day despite being at work yeah Sundays are a, a rubbish day to work I want to make sure that I get this 10 inches oh how many from the top I want to make sure it's square so if I measure and make sure that the the gap is the same, which it isn't. 
wants to go to there. It's crucial getting a straight grid, guys. Let me know if my music is too loud as well, because it's coming out the iPad, which is directly below the microphone today. So in theory, that should be 10 exactly, which it is. Yay. Yay for measuring. qualified you have a minute to yourself you're back as a patron <laughs> nice I imagine you're pretty busy you're in bed <laughs> okay guys no food talk today someone's very upset next door You've never seen this done real time. Well, here you go. I was gonna draw the grid out beforehand. I just ran out of time today. lying down <laughs> oh dear we well, weren't here last week so you have to make up for it with your chat I'm just going to turn this down a minute just so you can see the lines James was crying. I think he is. Um, he didn't have an afternoon nap today, so I thought brilliant. Not like last week, and he was like up all the time. <laughs> and uh, um, I think he just sort of bumped his head or something, or rolled over and obviously did something. Wasn't laughing. <laughs> so we just tried toast and gravy. Well, you can talk to um, to Amy Rose Fine Art about that gravy bread lover lovers. Loving the car themed ruler. This is a ruler from when I used to work at the mechanics garage. I pilfered it. <laughs> and you went back to work. Oh yes! Are you feeling a lot better now? Because you was at work last week, wasn't you? I remember you commented on the vlog video. Anyone that uses cartridge paper? I use it for drawing out. I forget what um, weight this is. He finished grilled pork chops and Italian green beans. With prov what's provolone cheese when it's at home? I apologise if I've butchered that word, by the way. <laughs> you may eat strange things, but you draw the line at toast and gravy. I showed that picture to my mum and she was like, that looks really good. I was like, get out. Get out of here. Last line. Okay. 
got our boxes and I've also got some um, grid lines on my reference picture which is on Photoshop. So this one's going to be a little trickier to outline because of the beak. I hate drawing beaks. So I just need to number my boxes. I'm going to zoom back in a bit as well. number the boxes so we know where we're going. Well, I've only got nine boxes. Is that right? Did I do this right? <laughs> it doesn't matter if it hasn't because I just use any old boxes really. Well I've only got nine and then I've got ten. Oh well. We'll just work from this edge because there's two boxes at the end of this hummingbird that have nothing in it, so we're good. Hi, Lynn, how you doing? Oh, hi, Barbara. <laughs> um, you went back to work on the Monday. She said she would have 10 of you. Well, that's good, that's good to know. You see, you're, you're needed. Um, do I still do commission pieces? Uh, sort of, not, sort of, yes. It depends on what it is. Okay, so I just need to count the boxes on this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that does have ten, so I'm just going to have to work one box back. I don't know, I, I obviously measured wrong there. Have I done my numbers right? <laughs> Let's try. So we want four, five boxes down. So I really hope that I've drawn this out right and that I haven't like messed it up. I don't mind it, I don't like drawing with that one. Didn't like all the erasing, yes. That's why I don't like um, drawing a grid on my paper. I use the cartridge paper and then transfer it with the tracing paper to my paper so I don't get it all dirty. Because I can't stand that. You don't draw outlines these days. How do you, or you just like draw as you go? One, two, three, four, five and then two in. Here we go. So, we're just gonna map everything out in the box. This is the piece that I'll be using the gold fiber pencils with. And I think it is a ruby throated hummingbird. And I'm trialling a new eraser, which is this Jackson's one. <laughs> if someone wants to ask for a pet portrait like Mia. Um, yes, because I know that you have some good photographs from when, um, when you sent me a, a couple last time. This needs to come way in a bit more. I hate beaks, really do, really, really hate beaks. It's just not sloping enough. Maybe if we bring it up a little higher, make it a little bit thinner as well. 
Where's my other razor? Where you at? It's like one of the main parts, so I want to make sure I get it right. You just bought an A2 size light box. Ooh, what kind did you buy? Is that the right thickness? No, it's a bit too thick. That's better. Yes, exactly, Chris. Breaks it down. I used to do the grid on my actual drawing paper, but I found that where I was like erasing a little bit too heavy, it was just damaging the tooth. So now I just draw it out on a on cartridge paper. much easier because then you don't damage your paper his beak needs a little bit of tweaking Huey on LED light pad. Ooh, yeah, how much was that? I uh, don't draw the outline of the entire thing. You just draw the outline of the area that you're working on. Oh yeah, I've seen who else works like that. Somebody that I've seen on Instagram works like that. And I'm like, how do you do it? I'd be terrified that I'd get something wrong. <laughs> a little bit too lumpy that bit grid's tricky on black paper yes raising it <laughs> I can imagine I can imagine that like even um, a sanded paper would be quite difficult as well wouldn't it like a pastel mat or something This needs to come down a bit more, I think. Just a bit. We should have put my Photoshop screen on this side and not this side because this screen hurts my eyes when I look at it too much. We have a new subscriber. Your whole life is one big procrastination. <laughs> um, we don't normally have bad anxiety. We were getting stressed for a few weeks. That's not good, Rob. Well, at least you can recognize it, though. Birds are beautiful. Scary. Beautiful. 
this bit's being a bit weird though. I always find um, birds a lot trickier to outline than other subjects. The other day I did the fox outline on my Twitch stream and that was like really easy. I was like, bam, done. Today it's just translating a little bit different. I don't know if I've done the grid. I think I've done it the right. The right, I'm just really um, terrified that I've done it, drawn it out the wrong way, but I think it's good. really weird at the moment. You finally finished the portrait. Yes! <laughs> and delivered it. Did they like it? Started an elephant elephant? <laughs> elephant drawing in graphite. Blocked in around the elephant with a clear picture. You can't draw the trees and bushes. They're difficult. I will give you that. They are difficult. That kind of texture. It's a bit unfamiliar. Just look like as if he was doing like a weird type of fur. Just look at the shadows and everything. This is going mental. You missed too too early for you. Yeah, I was um, thinking about doing them on a Saturday at some point, but I was also just talking to myself earlier <laughs> about um, going back to the every other Sunday um, YouTube streams purely so that I get a little bit more time off because um, now James is getting older he's dropping his afternoon nap and I don't get as much done and I need to get much done so I'm thinking about going back to every other Sundays just so that I can have that little bit of a break hi Roseanne how are you doing <laughs> It's always good when they when they love it. It's when they when they say, "Well, oh, can you just change this?" and you're like, "Oh no." <laughs> um, looking forward. Yes, the fox. I haven't done any more on that because I didn't get any time to Friday because I was so late with the Friday's video that I just didn't have time for any drawing. I really wanted to draw, but I was like, "I need to get this video done." This week has gone so quick for me. That I just have forgotten and lost track of time of everything. This beak is is not not sitting right with me for some reason, but we'll we'll see how it looks a little bit later on. It might look the right thickness once we've got the rest of the bird in. He did a mouse in graphite. Oh, I'll have to have a look on Instagram. Have you posted it to Instagram? Can I make a micro pig with a flower in its head? <laughs> That's very specific. <laughs> very specific, that is. How cute is this bird though? Is this in focus properly? Yes, it's just coming out a little bit blurry on the stream preview again. I still haven't edited um, this week's vlog for my vlog channel. I've got all the footage, I just need to edit it. I haven't had time this weekend. baby one. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Um, Twitch is like another type of um, 
video platform, mainly for live streaming, but you can put videos on there as well. Looking forward to the fox and the highland cow. I really hope that I get the highland cow done in time, because February is just flying by. <laughs> So bottom, oh look that doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the box either, because I stopped halfway. There we go, goes to there. Let's put the eye in. So the eye comes to the back of this box here, half of the eye, and the other half stops about here. And it's about halfway up. It's for Tuesday's video. Ooh, I'll have to have a look. I'll have to keep an eye out for that one. Half a mile back. <laughs> Join the elephant A4 size. Fairly big then. We should try a life size elephant. <laughs> uh, you're working on six different pieces. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that either. What are you? What? What are the six pieces that you're actually working on? Are they all different, or are they like slightly similar? Also, can we get a um, some kind of bet going <laughs> on when I will actually finish the McCaw and fill that frame? Because <laughs> it's still empty. It's still empty. Not sure that I'm gonna map out all of the individual feathers. I'm just gonna map out like a few little triangles of them. Keep having to hold my fringe back as well just because it's getting in the way. As I said, I should have put my Photoshop screen on this side. trying to be yes I agree I agree um... <laughs> I've noticed that um, a few a few art youtubers that I followed um, they've like grown like so much and now they've like stopped posting <laughs> and then when when you stop posting you kind of forget about someone I've already spent about a hundred hours trying to wondering how to draw the trees. <laughs> oh dear. I haven't really drawn a tree myself, so I can't really give you any advice there.
was just adding the general shape of these. I tend to just add these in as I go anyway. Make these larger, more like fanciful feathers. Why is there a colour change on the back of the head here? Like there. And then another one. Like that. Sorry. He just computer just wasn't cooperating. Had to get your tablet. <laughs> You've got up to have a coffee and a tab. What is that? One huge lion in pastels. A succulent. A snow leopard. A chameleon. Oh my. Um, and you joined the 100 eye challenge. Yes, um, from uh, Denise. I was gonna do that. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, that's not gonna happen, I don't think. At least not anytime soon. I might join it like late. I might be on the on the late train for that one. There's, those are like little scallop shapes which need mapping out here. I'm just going to add in like the this C, upside down C shape for those. Ooh. That needs to come out a bit more though. I'm never too worried about getting this like 100% correct because I think it just makes it a bit more realistic when things aren't like 100%. Obviously if it's like someone's dog then I'll try and get it 100% but when it's just wildlife like this I'm not too fussed. Just so we've got the general shape in is enough. draw a fly's eye and get 100 eyes over with in one session. <laughs> Good idea. Um, someone suggested a spider. Who was it that suggested the spider? I feel like it was one of you guys. is a soda pop oh <laughs> oh okay I did not I've never heard that expression before one of your snakes paid away Ugh, passed away last year oh man yeah that's pretty rough you put them in the freezer oh no that is right then it's always sad whether it's a snake or a pet spider it's always sad when something something goes. Where's this one? Oh.
Who's off? Bye, Robin. Geordie, Geordie accent has strange words. Yeah, my friend from Durham, she uh, she often says something or messages me something. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> I will be adding colour color to this, but probably not during this stream. I don't know. Probably take me a while just to map out these little scallops. <laughs> Um, the next stream will be colouring this. But I'll be using the gold fibre pencils that we unboxed last week. I'm so excited to use them. Oh yeah, bye Robin probably gone now I'm like way behind on the on the chat um, you've done two and about to start another dog what kind of dog are you drawing a cuddy's lug is a horse's ear that's weird that's very weird <laughs> you kept a tiny frog as a pet <laughs> that's kind of cute like frogs, they're a bit debatable in the cute, cute department, but it's cute that you had one as a pet. That's adorable. You live in the Durham area. Ooh. Um, bye, Penny. Thanks for stopping in. It's been nice to have you. add in these bits so there's not really much more detail to add in if, if I'm honest other than these little scalloped bits I'm just gonna sort of add in like just some lines going in the general direction if anyone's wondering this reference photo is from wildlife reference photos it is not a free one. It's, uh, I don't know if any of you have been on wildlife reference photos. They've got some excellent photos for like $5. And this one is from there. Catherine Cookson has Geordie terms in her books. I've never read Catherine Cookson. That's not my kind of thing, if I'm honest. She was once followed down an alleyway by a frog. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrifying. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you were right to be scared, Amy. <laughs> That's hilarious. A few more of these. So they sort of switch around to coming just this way. I'm gonna switch this one because it always makes me feel a bit weird. You used to always have frogs and newts. Ooh, salamanders. I do like a good salamander. Um, I've never seen a salamander here. Do we actually have them? It will be interesting. I'm going to be using a lot of, um, like, the same, hopefully, if I can find the right tones within the gold fibre, but 
a uh, lot of the same kind of tones and then accent with um, purple and orange to make them sort of iridescent. Currently putting some finishing touches to a watercolour page. Ooh, Prima watercolour book. Co watercolour colouring book. Is that like a like a colouring book type thing? I'm not familiar. I made the biggest boo-boo. Um, has anybody heard of the the Big Cat Century in Kent? Um, well, they have open days, like, only once or twice throughout the year. And they opened up tickets for their July open day, like, just before Christmas. And I was like, oh, it'll be fine. I'm not going to buy them now because they'll have plenty of spaces still after Christmas. And I looked, like, two weeks ago and they've all sold out. And I was bummed. <laughs> I'm really annoyed that I didn't book the tickets when I had them in my basket. I was like, nah, it'd be alright. So now I can't go this year. It's a protected species. Oh, yes. I had to save a big fro frog from cat's interest. <laughs> oh, I've never seen a cat with a frog. It's a watercolour colouring book. I've never seen one of those. I've seen coloured pencil ones. I presume that you can use watercolour in the coloured pencil ones, but I've never seen a specific watercolour one. Gotta go. Bye, Sarah! Distract the cats, move the frog to the garden. Whisper bought in a wren the other night. And uh, yeah, had to rescue that from him. It was about half past 12 at night and I could hear this really loud like screaming downstairs. I was like, what on earth is that? It sounded like a giant rat. Um, but yeah, it went downstairs and it's a wren. Well, Simon went downstairs. And half asleep well what's going on yeah poor little wren it it um, managed to make it its way outside and it survived though your eight-year-old shocked you the other day with a rude joke you're gonna tell us aren't you so go ahead <laughs> You didn't know salamanders were real. Ah, <laughs> oh, like Newt Salamander. Is that his name? I've not actually read that or seen the film. Is that his name? We can't deal with the presence, yeah. It's not nice. had a look on Google and there are no salamanders. Oh man, that's not good. I've seen newts, but never seen a salamander. So yeah, maybe, they don't, maybe they're not around anymore. What did Cinderella say when she got to the ball? <laughs> oh, oh dear. That, for an eight-year-old, that's, that's pretty, uh, what did you do about that, Rob? <laughs> Thank you very much, Chris. I hope it's going to be good. <laughs> I've heard that one, Lynn. 
I've had that one. Ow. I think we're pretty much there for outline on this guy. Just adding a few little feathers. There's not really much more I can add. Like, there's no real details or anything that I need to add in. Apart from like these little scalloped feathers here, but there's only a few of them. That's basically it. These feathers have got like fringing on them. It's going to be interesting to draw, isn't it? Hey, hi, how are you doing? Drawing your hummingbird. Not the outline, anyway. <laughs> oh dear. You bought some shoes from a drug dealer the other day. I still got it from YouTube. Hey, there's only quality content on YouTube. <laughs> you don't know what he laced them with, but it's tripping all day. That is terrible. That's terrible. Oh, I got stuck on um, dad jokes the other day. Oh, dad jokes, they're so much fun. That's my kind of joke. I usually don't get jokes. I'm a little bit slow in that department. But dad jokes, I'm all over them. Let's put in some little feather directions too, because these ones are flowing in a slightly like puffed out way. Just want to make sure I've got everything in as well. Like all these tiny little sections here and tiny little bits underneath their eyes well that needs to be a longer bit more but I think that let's add another one in let's just go all out and just add some details in why not The female version of Manfrey. Oh no. Yeah, I hope you're feeling better soon. You've only just got over another one as well, haven't you? Not your luck, is it, at the moment? With the uh, colds and stuff. Okay, I think that is pretty much there. I just need to slim down the beak a little bit, I think. Let's just erase the whole thing. I'm going to have to turn it. It's got a tiny little bit of a curve to it. That's a bit better. And it does come back here a little bit as well. This is all beak with a little bit of feather too. When is a door not a door? Yes. <laughs> Go and get your coat, Amy. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> that one's nasty. Um, I'm going to transfer this now with some tracing paper. I'm going to 
trace it and then reverse it and trace it again and then put it onto the paper. A little bit of a backwards way to do stuff but it's the way I like to do it. What was a good dad joke I heard the other day? I wrote it down. Where's it gone? Uh, I need some tracing paper though. So um, I didn't cut any to size. I probably should have because it makes a hell of a racket. Uh, da -da -da -da. Scissors. Oh, also, they're getting worse. Um, I bought this. This is a really weird thing. Has anybody tried one of these? I'm just going to show you guys. It's basically, it's used for like uh, restoring art, but I thought this would be a good way to get the white of the paper clean. Um, and it is basically like a bag filled with eraser stuff and I thought yeah this would be really good but I can't stand to touch it Ugh. it feels really weird it feels like one of those um, like um, did anybody have like those stress balls that you filled with flour and water it felt like that Ugh. Oh, it feels like that, it's disgusting Sorry for the noise. I'm going to need two bits. There we go. Don't attack me. Lady Marigold. Um, if you're gonna transfer, because I like to draw it out. I like to draw it out. I don't like to just trace or transfer that way. I like to um, draw this out. And I'm not using a printed image. No, it's I'm using the reference image that I've got on Photoshop and I've put a grid over that and then I've transferred it to this. You've read about doing outlines and shapes. Yes, exactly. I really like to do it this way. It is a very long way round of doing it, but you get the drawing practice. I'm still not com comfortable with doing stuff freehand. I could do it, but it would just take me so long. Um, you thought it was already printed? No, no, I, didn't, I don't print my reference images um, purely because it would just take up too much ink. <laughs> so let's just go around it and we can get some nice clean lines now rather than these sketchy ones. <laughs> have you seen the point method? Yes. I have been practicing a little bit with that rather than because it's the same principle as the grid isn't it it's just you use points instead of drawing out the whole grid so you'd point like this bit and then the top of the beak and stuff <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> oh dear um <laughs> the 
the joke that I liked was that was absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. And when I tell jokes, I um, absolutely s savage them for money. I can't tell jokes or stories. <laughs> Um, I want my reference photo on my iPad now, so it's in front of me, and it hasn't got the grid over it. Where is it? I know it's here. There it is. Let me can check it. I probably should have had the reference photo in front of me um, whilst I was doing the grid, but oh well. I'm just adding in like really precise lines. Oh. He used to do the point method. He still do sometimes, you're not sure. <laughs> I feel like it's a good method. I'm not sure if I'd get on with it, but I'm gonna continue like practicing with it because I think it's a good tool. See, I missed a bit there, but I could have added in there. No more now. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> then. You've shocked the words out of Amy as well. <laughs> I always concentrate so much when I'm doing this. You're gonna have to Google jokes for next week. <laughs> the Big Bang Artist, hello. How are you? That's very cool. Um, whilst uh, Rob has mentioned next week, I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming next week. Purely because I want to do the the one week on, one week off thing so that I get that break. And I'm trying to time it for when Simon works on Saturday. So when he does work on a Saturday, I'm not streaming on a Sunday. Just so we can get that a little bit of extra time together. Um, and just a bit of a, a break. Also, my thinking behind it is that I can release my other videos that I have planned on that Sunday when I won't be streaming and still stick to my schedule somewhat. So I probably won't be streaming next week. It'll be on a every other Sunday basis. Just for a little while, just to see if it helps out with the breaking it up. <laughs> I didn't even have my bow. Oh dear. Might have another. No, don't say that. I don't want to be responsible. I will not be held responsible. You should join on some um, on Twitch, Rob. <laughs> that will still be every Friday because the Friday is like the day that I don't 
do tutorial stuff and it's like a little break away from tutorials I'm just gonna see how I get on with the streaming every other Sunday again I just don't want to put too much pressure on myself someone else needs to stream so you can get your fix I don't know whether it's just the fact that February is just seems to be jam packed for me though. I might change my mind, but I will probably, um, well, I will announce whether or not I'm streaming in my Facebook group. But I'm gonna pray prim primarily, provisionally. What's the word I'm looking for here? Provisionally say no. I just get Simon to join the chat. <laughs> well, I was going to get a, um, a curtain to put up here so that, because he said he wouldn't mind sitting. Was from streaming sometimes up here and like reading the book. Um, so I was going to get a curtain to put up there. So I might even do that. We'll see. Almost done. This actually isn't too bad to draw out like this. I'm just making sure I've got everything. Have I got everything? Is that like okay? I think it looks like a cutie bird. You will stream. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. <laughs> You'd stream, but you wouldn't be entertaining. I don't know. You you might have to like have a a thingy of jokes to, ready to go. Oh, look! I've just clicked on the on the viewer statistics on the on my stream thing I can now see what the playback is who is streaming at 360p <laughs> right <laughs> I was doing that the other day when I was watching a video and I was like why is this so bad? And then I looked at the stream quality, uh, the video quality, and I was like, oh, that's why. You're so patient. <laughs> Sometimes I do like to hurry, but I'm not in too much of a rush with this. I tend to draw things out when I know that I'm not in a rush like if I was to draw something out and know that it needs like with my animal artist collective pieces or the ones from last year Jesus I was always like I need to get this done and when I had to draw out the polar bear oh, that killed me almost <laughs> so back to front now how many times are we going to draw this hummingbird four five five four four and a half the half is when we do the 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 rubbing bit on the on the other side. I always keep the the tracings as well. In case I make a mistake on the actual piece, then it's just so much easier just to keep the piece. And also if I want to, um, if I forget to scan it for a tutorial, like I almost did with the fox, <laughs> then I've got it and I can just draw it out on like a cartridge paper. We have some new members joining our group. Your favourite bird. Hi Shari! Is it Shari or Shari? I'm gonna say Shari. 
Yes, <laughs> if Rob streamed it would have the age restriction. Can't stand having a picture taken never mind on video. <laughs> I must admit, when you stream often, and you do videos often, you get used to that kind of aspect of it. Oops, I made a mistake there. I can never see which bits I've done and which I haven't. <laughs> You're very virtuous. Can someone explain to me what that means? Because I, I can't think at the moment. <laughs> Does that mean you're good? My internal thesaurus isn't adept at that word. We might even get a chance to add a little bit of colour to this, you know? I put my little hurry up boots on. This is coming apart. Sherry, like Sherry. Sherry, like Sherry. <laughs> you won't even look in the mirror. Is it that bad, Rob? Is it because they break when you're licking them? I joke, I joke. When your kids stick a phone in front Yeah. <laughs> oh you're one of those. Lead hardness. This is an HB. This is a uh, a Kurutoga. Kurutok. Uh, I can never say it. A 0.5. It's a uniball one. It's my favourite pencil. I also use this one, which is a 4B, a Mars Lumograph. They're my favourites. And when I go over and transfer this to the paper, then I use a six. Is it a six H that I use? Oh, 5H. Close. Close, but no cigar. Did this stop recording? No, it didn't. Good. I want the recording of this because I'm actually going to make a shorter video of this method. I've done one before but I just want to do like a real quick one, like about under 8 minutes or so, just so it's easy to digest. Doesn't really require much explaining those does it? suitable for those with pacemakers or a nervous disposition.
<laughs> now I'm going to stick this bit over the top so that we can transfer it nicely. I want it to move though. Never seen the previous ones. Oh man. The other ones are good. I really want to see the new one. Would you recommend it? Curtis Ward, yes, that's a good one. Transfer time. Just a six eight five six H. Five H. Faber Castell one. I don't like to use the Mars Lumograph because I actually use those for graphite drawing. And people always ask me why I tape another bit over the top, and that's so you can keep the tracing like as clean as possible, so you can use it again. Mm -hmm. Oh damn! <laughs> um, glacé. Is it glacé? paper is that what you mean used to store art drawing no this is just tracing paper um glassine that's it glassine paper glassine paper is like this she says and then she has none glassine paper is similar it's a bit thinner but it's similar and it's shinier gonna make a list of art supplies when she gives you a <laughs> I can imagine I'm, I'm guessing you didn't get the money to buy to buy your uh, art supplies Didn't like the sound of that one. Yes, I agree. Extra piece on top, then you can save it. Um, miss, I yeah, I've drawn a grid over the reference photo on Photoshop. I'll show you guys in a minute. Sure that I've got all of the bits. This pro could probably do with a bit of extra lineage. Oh, perfect! Look at that transfer.
nicely done. I don't think I even need to go over that again with um, the mechanical pencil again. But I will keep my tracing. There we go, now we've got lots of copies of the same thing. You could quite, could easily spend £10,000 on photography equipment. <laughs> yes, couldn't we all? Oh, I'm in, the, I'm in the, in the, what's the word I'm looking for? In the market for a new camera. I've decided I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy a new camera. Uh, could you use graphite paper? Um, I presume so. Like a carbon paper. You can share. <laughs> Thanks for that, Amy, for deleting that. Um, yeah, you can just go ahead and just hide, hide that. <laughs> um, you just draw over the line drawing with the transfer paper. See, yeah, you could do that. It's an easy way of doing things. If you're like strapped for time where you don't really want to draw it out. I like to draw them out though. Robbed by the cinema. £16.35 It's extortionate <laughs> Thanks guys <laughs> You have a Sony A7R Oh, I'm not sure what that is See, this is the fox that we drew out the other day in the same way that was in the Twitch stream. We drew the fox out. Oh, and now my pages have fallen off. But now we're done with that. And we've just got our outline now. What is the time? Almost 10. Well, I don't think I will get to drawing any of the hummingbird. But I just want to just share my screen so you guys can see the... Um, the thingy, the lines over the thing, where is it? Screen, there you go. Sorry, you've got my um, camera preview as well. But that's my, that's my grid over my bird. Just with guides on Photoshop. Oops, let's change it back. There we go. No messing with you. Can never remember the name of it. Graphite paper like carbon. <laughs> yeah, it's just carbon paper. Dreaming of a real macro lens costs more than your camera. <laughs> uh, also 1K short. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of um, camera comparisons. I want the best possible one for filming because this camera, although it's good that I'm using it at the moment, isn't the best. And I've been looking at the ATD, the Canon. If anybody has an ex any experience with the Canon ATD and like filming, let me know. <laughs> Rub some graphite on a clean sheet. Oh my gosh, yes, that is a really good way of doing it. of lenses <laughs> you can't even afford second hand they are expensive I looked at a lens that I wanted and it was like £400 I was like nope Bits what's your camera that you use I 
I could actually start on this. I'm just going to start a little bit at the beak with my one grey pencil, two grey pencils. of your equipment through photo links. That's a good idea. I'm going to look into that. It's sort of like car finance but for cameras. You really want a 70 to 200. You have an ATD, you've not filmed on it though. Could you film on it <laughs> and let me know what it's like? I'm gonna turn this back up a minute. There we go, We're back to our regular whiteness, which is really white. <laughs> you actually need a new PC first. <laughs> Just need all of the things. Ooh, let's put some purple down. There's no warm grey one or anything, and it's not, is there a cream? There's not even a cream, is there? So I'm gonna have to, where's the white? Where's the white pencil? There it is. Poorer than a poor person, so wish you luck. You need to start selling that art, Rob. You just returned a new HP you bought six days ago and got a Mac desktop. Have to wait until... Oh man, that's annoying. I hate waiting for stuff when you're excited to use it. That's not true. People would buy your art, Rob. You need to put it out there. Just gonna put down a layer of this. I forget that these are wax based. <laughs> They're really nice to use. I just don't have that light, light base tone that I'm gonna need for the white feathers and stuff. It's gonna be difficult. going on? <laughs> no idea what's going on downstairs.
it's 10 o'clock now. Pe what pencils are these? These are the Faber Castell Gold Faber. Gold Faber ones. I like that idea of prime lenses. I see, I have no idea about these uh, camera terms. Bought a Sigma. Can make a pretty, take pretty moon pictures and birdies. Yeah, Darren, do you actually take like um, photos and you, and let artists use them and stuff? Because I'm still looking for people to contribute to my website. Images, if you're interested. If he was on a safari, you would want a. You'd be scared of lions. Don't be scared of lions. Lions are good. I am done for today. My eyes are hurting me today. Um, I didn't actually get much drawn, did I? Look at that. I got that outline done though. You can just about see the outline if we put that in a bit of shadow. So that's good. Um, yeah. As far as uh, streaming next week, I'm going to provisionally say that I won't be streaming, but we will see. I will announce on my group whether or not I decide to, and there will be a, obviously a notification on YouTube if we do decide to as well. Um, yeah. It's been a bit different this evening, just outlining stuff. I really enjoy outlining. I should do it more often. <laughs> Got so much with the beak done. I just gave up. I was just like, no. <laughs> Not even gonna happen. Right. Yeah. Just reading everybody's... I have no idea what the photography terms are. I <laughs> just worked out this camera and now I'm saying, I, I'm gonna get a new one. <laughs> um, yes. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. If you want to join the Facebook group, if anybody isn't a member, um, I'm just gonna, hopefully it'll post a link. Yep, there you go. If anybody wants to join the Facebook group, if you want to be notified and share your art with the community, then be my guest. Um, but I will possibly, prob I will definitely see you guys in two weeks time, which will be the 24th of February and we will see whether or not we will stream next week but if not I will see you guys on the 24th have a good evening I'm gonna go and uh, actually try and play a little bit of a game this evening or maybe watch some Battlestar Galactica I haven't decided yet um, but yes thanks all for stopping by and I will see you guys next week hopefully <laughs>